take two. Um, I had these headphones that I plugged in and the audio sounded horrible. So let's not use that. Um, yeah, so welcome to the I Just Be Talking podcast. This is literally a podcast where I just be talking. And I got the vision to do a podcast last year. Um, ultimately, this podcast will not only just be me talking. Um, the goal is to actually have conversational style. Um, I don't want to say interviews because that's just weird. Um, that's a weird flex. And... Um, but anyway, just conversational style points, I guess. Um, however, the spirit leads. And um, so, yeah, I started and attempted this podcast last year. And had I known the season that I was going to enter into, I wouldn't have started. Um, but now I'm grateful and thankful that I actually have a lot more to talk about. Glory to God. You know, that room is 828. Be standing true. All things work together for the good of them who love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And since I love the Lord and I am called according to his purpose, it all works out for my good. And so here we are back better than ever. Um, I do have this microphone that I got um, that I can't wait to hook up so this podcast can be fire, you know? Um, But until then, I'm going to have to work with what I got um, because I am missing this piece to connect my phone to the sound card, soundboard, whatever it's saying, right? Sound card. And, um, yeah, had I known I would have needed that piece, I would have ordered it along with the equipment. Ain't that something? Um, so I can't even use the microphone. This is wild. And so, yeah. It is 2023. The year is almost over. Can you believe it? We are about to be in September. Um, the ninth month, nine is the number of birthing. So I know the Lord is birthing many things. Um, and I know a lot of old dreams and desires and visions that the Lord, I can't even say old, but those dreams and visions that we got a long time ago are now being birthed in this season. So it's time for us to pick them back up and, you know, run with speed because a lot of things are about to be birthed in this ninth month. Um, What else is going on? The alarm has been sounding for sure um, for our lovely intercessors, prophets, and prophetic people have definitely been on blast about warning, about being on your post. And um, I myself had gotten a dream I get dreams all the time but this particular dream I love how the Lord speaks to me um in kind of like a movie style when I dream because he knows I love movies and it's a little bit easier for me to interpret at times in a movie style um and he'll use something that I've seen before or he'll speak a word and it'll just be a knowing in my spirit and so um, not everything that he gives me is for me to, to release, but I know that there are times when I need to release and there are times when I just need to take it to prayer and intercede. And let me back up a little bit. So I actually had been in preparation um, unknowingly. I love how the Lord does that too. Unknowingly, I just all of a sudden had a desire to exercise, right? I wanted to get healthier again and juice and um, start exercising and taking better care of my body. And I just started working out um, with what I had, which was my body. (laughs) And um, a couple of exercises just to, you know, uh, build up my strength and endurance and get myself back on track and I do run from time to time I was a collegiate athlete so track and field is you know just being an athlete is in my blood I can't get away from that um so I all of a sudden had this unction and desire to exercise and eat healthier and then I see a whole bunch of people posting about um 
you know, taking care of yourself and exercising and all of that stuff, which, you know, you should be anyway, but it became more of a prominent, like, prompting or a warning, like, no, whatever is coming, you need to be equipped and prepared, right? And then we had this, now they didn't genetically modify stuff before, but I mean, we took it to a whole nother level um, with this meat. And on top of that, whatever disease of the week, month, um, reintroduction of COVID or whatever have you, um, they trying to bring back. Notice I just said trying to. Um, and it's just wild to me, you know? But fast forward to this dream I had. <clears throat> and the part of the dream that stuck out, out to me, especially with the people that have been sounding the alarm, was the end of school days. There's a part where Lawrence Fishborn runs through the field of the campus and he yells, wake up. I'm trying not to yell because you know that would be hard to hear. And I saw it clear as day. However, it wasn't Lawrence Fishburne's face, it was mine. And I had my hands as if, you know, you put your hands up to your mouth, like, I don't know, it's weird. Like, have you have um, an imaginary speaker, I guess? I'm doing it right now that you can see me. You can't see me, but my hands were upside my mouth and I was screaming, wake up, and then go figure out, woke up. And I had to sit with that, like, it is right in the vein of what is happening and people warning and letting y'all know like this ain't a game right and us as believers and christians it is our job to stop stuff before it happens you know what i'm saying especially the intercessor you're supposed to intercede to intercept the plan of the enemy over nation region people place you know what i'm saying so it's just amazing how God speaks and how intimate he is with us. And when you have that relationship with him, whether it's growing or not, he still chooses to speak to his people. It's if you are aware that he's speaking or paying attention to what he is saying, because ultimately it's for your benefit. And it is the mercy of God to even want you, you know? So yeah, I just, I might have been a little bit of a rant, but that's what happens when I just be talking, right? So yeah.